Today we have our top five questions from our PC customers about the Tesla Powerwall. The first question on right off the bat is why wouldn't you back up your whole house? Good question. Uh, so why you wouldn't back up your whole home? And to be clear about backup, I think it's a bit of a misconception. When, when you've got a uh, power wall on, like uh, mine on my home, for example, at all times, the power wall will supply everything in my home. But when the grid goes down, and for some of us it's quite often, and for some it's, it's not often at all, um, there are certain things you want to select to back up. And the reason you wouldn't back up your whole home is so you don't deplete your battery really, really quickly. You know, sometimes blackouts can last 10, 12, 20 hours. Uh, so you're going to want energy there to run the necessities, which um, we'll touch on in a, in a few questions time. Mm, sounds good. Does the Tesla app have consumption monitoring? Yeah, the Tesla app starts at consumption monitoring, right? So it's not like one of these dumb sort of string inverter apps that just so shows you production. The Tesla app shows you production of your solar, consumption, so where your energy is actually gone and when you've used energy as a household. It shows you your battery uh, charge as well, so anything from 0 to 100%. And then when your battery was charged and if it was charged off solar, which is obviously the aim of the game, and when your battery discharged, it's also smart enough to tell you your total self-consumption for the day in a percentage. Um, it's a really, really powerful, mm. clever app. It's arguably my most favorite app on my phone. Mm. It's like, instead of going to Facebook or Instagram, like I straight to the Tesla app and I see Check what happened. Energy. Yeah, <laughs> I like to keep my self-consumption above yeah. 95%. Like we're a home that yeah. very efficient sort of home. And yeah, if I'm below 95%, like I'm, I'm in a pretty cranky. So as an electrician, how do you decide what you back up? Like obviously yeah. you need to talk to the client about their needs, but how do you decide what is backed up? Totally, yeah, great question. So when we're backing up a home, if your home's single phase, we'll actually back up the whole home. Now, we do recommend not to use the oven and air con in, in, a, in a blackout because it will drain your battery quite quickly. With a three phase home, we have some decisions to make. You know, we can only actually back up selected circuits, not the whole home. So what we're looking for is we're looking for lights primarily. Lights are really important. You want to be able to walk around at night time if there's a blackout. We're looking for essential power. So. That's uh, probably not the power to your massage chair. That's yeah. the power to a central TV, um, your modem or router. So you have internet while there's a blackout. Um, you fridges. know, fridges are really important. Yeah, yeah. everyone wants fridges backed mm. up. Um, and then we're looking for things like if you are off um, town water and you have a tank f to, for water, mm -hmm. we want the client to be able to have water. Mm. Um, non important things are air con, debatably. Um, mm. Ovens, not really that important in a blackout. Mm. Um, you treat yourself to a bit of Mackey D's or something yeah. like that, <laughs> um, which have now gone sustainable, by the way. That's another podcast. Yeah. The topic of backup, the next question mm. was Will my solar charge the battery during a blackout? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So with end phase micro inverters on single phase homes or three phase homes, we can actually site specifics. Um, but if the solar is on the same building as the battery, we can definitely back up solar panels. We can charge that battery while the grid's down. There are catches. If you have a string inverter, a three phase string inverter, it's not possible. A, st a string inverter will not charge a battery. Um, well, the Tesla Powerwall specifically. So when are situations that you can't actually do that? Situations where you can't actually back up your solar, for example, my home um, in Hawkesbury, my solar is not backed up. So I've got uh, four power walls, which is a hell of a lot of storage. We charge electric vehicles and things like that. And you've got to practice what you preach. Yeah. And so for me, I know that the amount of storage I have, I'm, like I'm not going to have a multi-day blackout. And if I do, well, really unlucky. But the fact is I actually can't back up my solar because I have on each string of my solar, it's, it's over seven kilowatts um, of inverter capacity. So I, I, I can't back up my solar. Um, other scenarios where you can't is if the battery is on a a separate dwelling to the solar, then you can't do that either. Um, or if you've got a big single phase system like 10 kilowatts, you can only really back up half of that solar. And you know, the advantages to having solar run uh, while the grid's off is it will just keep trickle charging your battery. So obviously in that situation, once the power wall is depleted in a blackout scenario and the power's still not on, that's, that's, that's stumps. That's it. If you back your solar up and you deplete the power wall down to zero, or your nominated percentage of uh, that's enough, which mm. in a blackout is zero, then it stumps as well. The, mm. the solar will not recharge the battery the next day. Mm. It has to have a couple of percent left in it and be supplying energy for the home mm. for that scenario to work. Mm.
And so then it's really just waiting for the grid to come back on. Come to, back on, yep. To allow it to Which charge Which brings again. everything back to life. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. And under normal operation, um, using net metering, that allows the power wall to supply energy, um, mm. you know, in theory, to, to the whole home at any time. Like, is a power wall a single phase battery or a three phase battery? Absolutely. So mm. the Tesla power wall is actually a single phase battery. So it's a five kilowatt inverter, which is a single phase inverter inside. Um, the battery which can ramp to seven kilowatts or so for 10 seconds to deliver you that amount of energy that you may need in the home. Um, yeah, so it can be used on a single phase or three phase house though, using our net metering. Um, it does supply the whole home and, and in a blackout, it does give you single phase backup. Um, so yeah, it, it's a, a pretty common question we get asked. There are not really that many, any good three phase batteries on the market. Um, power wall you know even the new end phase battery that'll be a single phase battery as well mm. you can put them in a three phase configuration though dan if you have three phases and you get three power walls mm. we would install one per phase that's gotcha. how it would work so mm. my home for example i have two on a phase which is my backup phase then i have uh, b phase and c phase I have one battery on each phase mm. Mm. awesome well thank you dan thank you jake no no problem thank you guys for the questions mm. you know we, we love these these uh these keep us on our toes Absolutely. and keep us being better as well you know they're, they're a beautiful product then yes. you know i've got them on my own home i love the tesla app it's something i look at beautiful, every single day yeah. yeah it's a work of art mm. so uh guys if you've been thinking about doing it um now's the time you know we've got them in stock you can literally have one of these before christmas let's go any awesome. questions guys let us know thanks guys thank you blue skies